Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 11th, 2021. Hey guys, once again, I want to apologize for yesterday. Um, had a technical problem here, creating some issues with the video. I know some folks get, um, watched it, some folks didn't get a chance to, so I do apologize for that and its lateness. Let's take a look at what's going on in the markets today for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. Hope you you had a great evening and you're ready for another wild day of price gy gyrations here in the market. Let's take a look what's going on here. Surprisingly, yesterday we, we uh, found... Um, some energy in the diamonds and spy and if you remember i said something there about the correlation that we've been seeing lately when the diamonds rises the cues falls the cues rises the diamonds falls and we saw that same thing going on yesterday as a matter of fact the diamonds rose pretty strongly yesterday moving up setting new record highs and um, ahead of the cpi number we're just relatively flat we're trying to put on some bullish um, attitude here in the diamonds this morning but ahead of that CPI reading we are kind of flat as a matter of fact everything that I talk about this morning could dramatically change depending on how that number comes in prior to the market open but let's take a look here um, right now we broke through this resistance we held that support in here trend to the upside in this chart is certainly bullish we have to give this up to the bears there are some concerns out there that I still worry about um, not in the price section of the chart but in some of the background um, indication um, indicators in the market but watch that closely we're very very bullish and we continue to just um, press and press and press prices higher and higher and higher let's take a look at the spy SPY also squeaked out a new record high yesterday largely in a chop zone but we did squeak out that new record high pushing on up here and as you can see we have a bullish chart here and a very very tight consolidation showing up looking for inspiration now when we see a tight consolidation like that holding in a bullish pattern we're looking for some kind of inspiration that would suggest we can push on through to the upside but we also have to consider that um, if we found that reason say consumer inflation um, uh, to to be troubling, we could certainly find a, uh, a failure that would come in, into that as well. So we have to be a little bit careful here, um, just realizing that this has been the longest bull run in history and that um, we are extremely elevated. So um, a lot of the, uh, there's a lot of the big banks out there calling uh, for a correction at any time to begin. I don't know if that's true, but what I do want to do is I want to be a little bit careful and cautious and not become complacent thinking the market will never fall because I do expect we will um, at some point in time catch that pullback. When? I don't know, but I'm going to be as prepared for that as I can by not over trading to the upside. Let's take a look at QQQ. QQQ saw that selling yesterday and this is that correlation that we've been noticing a lot lately and you can even see it intraday we get the diamonds moving up spy pushes down and and then we get the inverse of that when the when the QQQ pushes up and pushes down it's kind of an interesting dynamic that I can't say that I've ever seen before but that seesaw seems to be happening uh, quite often here um, lately as we kind of gyrate around here in the NASDAQ but notice we have a bullish chart here we're holding up very very bullish in the in that chart and we're holding some price support even though that pullback yesterday holding some price support in that chart you can see the QQQ is looking for a little bit lower open and um, the SPY is also looking for just a little bit lower open this morning ahead of that CPI number but again everything could change after that number then let's take a look at iwm iwm uh, managed to hold on pretty good yesterday and we continue to hold this little upside trend um, in iwm but 
this is still the weakest uh, market in the index or uh, index in the market. And um, we continue to struggle with considerable price resistance in this chart. And we continue to languish under that 50 day moving average. So and unless we can get that real substantial push up through that 50 and prove to hold up here, I still expect um, IWM could um, soon see that 200 day moving average. We wouldn't have to have too much of a stumble to do that. So watch that closely. Um, let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Or excuse me, let's take a look at our VIX first. Our VIX had a little bit of a back and forth going on yesterday. We saw um, a little bit of a rally in this um, at the close yesterday, but we remain underneath that 50 day moving average. We have broken that little uptrend that we had there that I was concerned about. And we continue to just kind of drift along here. Um, Surprisingly, we're not setting new lows in the VIX as we set new record highs in the market. That gives me a little bit of concern, but nothing major. We just want to be on our toes and make sure that if we do happen to stumble in the market, which and this could rally really quickly if we were to do that, just um, you know, just um, be prepared is what I'm saying. Make sure that you have a plan in case the market does decide to shift the other direction. Then let's take a look at our T2122. T2122 saw a little bit of a rally yesterday. We rallied on up and then right there at the end of the day, we just kind of pulled back a little bit. So not too bad here in T2122. And what it does tell us is that we still have plenty of upside opportunity um, in this chart. If we can find that inspiration to move on up here, we've got room to the upside to move and we certainly have plenty of room to the downside to move as well should we find reason to stumble. One of the things that I think is creating this uh, this choppiness kind of in the middle here um, in the market is we're seeing market breadth continue to decline. Let's take a look at that T2101. My goodness, um, T2101 just falling like crazy here. And that's that absolute breadth index. And notice we are coming close to nearly to a two year low in that breadth. Now, what we want to see is we want to see um, this catch a wave to the upside, but have it be when buyers are stepping in. We want a buy wave picking up that market breadth. What we don't want to see is we don't want to see this market breadth surge to the upside in a sell wave. Okay, so watch that closely. Um, we just seem to be struggling so much with market breadth and it just isn't isn't picking up very well. There's another indicator, T2107, that is kind of an interesting um, indicator. This is the number of stocks holding above their 200-day moving average. And as you can see, we're just not improving there. Um, even though we're setting new record highs, we've got more and more stocks kind of uh, drifting below their 200-day. So kind of an interesting... Um, an interesting divergence from the overall market. Let's take a look. If we um, were to add in the Diamond Spy QQQ on that chart, you can see we've got this um, substantial divergence beginning to develop. Well, it has developed in, in that with so many stocks below their 200 day. So kind of an interesting thing. And it, it's, it's an odd little mix that's going on here in the market. But um, that being said, with the trends being so incredibly bullish, we still as retail traders, we kind of need to stick with that retail trade. We don't want to over speculate um, just in case we do happen to fall. But um, we need to, need to stay with that upside trend and the majority of my stocks trades are continuing to be long, but I have increased my hedges and I have increased my, um, um, my little bit of, uh, how do I say, I, I'm starting to tilt just to lower my, 
lower my um, delta position long um, by bringing in some more hedge, some credit spreads, things like that to protect in case we do move lower. So although I'm, I'm remaining bullish, I have that little bit of, hmm, uh, that carefulness that I'm taking in the market. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. And if we take a look at that, you're going to see that we have a big number here today. We're going to get a reading on consumer um, inflation in that CPI number. And honestly, this is probably going to be the bigger number of this week. And um, right now, economists are expecting this number to come in really hot. They're expecting it to be um, a half a percent increase in consumer prices month over month, 5.3% year over year. Um, so keep a close eye on that. If that number were to come in less than that, less than that, uh, less than expected, it's certainly possible we could see the market go up on that. If it comes in hotter than that, we could see a problem with the market um, as those consumer prices come in. Now, the big question is the Fed has said that, that these price increases will be temporary. That's yet to be seen. Um, there are a lot of economists suggesting that no, these prices are here to stay. Um, and um, could even see some additional increases. So watch for that closely. I think as we continue to print money, our Congress continues to spend like crazy, um, we're going to continue to see inflation be an issue in the market. And we also have a petroleum status number this morning. Now, what's interesting is um, oil prices are, are moving down this morning because... Um, you know, less than a, uh, a year ago, we were considered to be um, energy independent. But now the White House is going to OPEC, kind of begging them to increase oil production because prices are uh, spiking. Um, they seem to think that oil prices have nothing to do with inflation. I don't know. But um, keep a close eye on that. Oil prices are pulling back this morning. However, if this number comes in with a, um, a, a um, big decline in supplies, that could certainly help boost it right back up. So watch that closely. Let's take a look at the um, stocks that are going to be facing some earnings results today. If we take a look at that earnings calendar, we have about 140 companies listed on the calendar, but there are a significant number of those companies that are unverified reports. So not all of those will be reporting. There are a lot of small caps. Now, if you, whoops, that's the blog. If you want to um, see the um, full list of notables that I've put on there today, if you could go to uh, and click that link just below the title of the video. That'll take you over to the blog and you can catch those reports. A um, couple of things that I want to point out here this morning, though, in those reports that you might want to keep an eye on. We're going to hear from um, eBay today. eBay will be reporting. You can see we got a little bit of a down shot going on right here this morning, but I don't think that's the report. Notice we've been in a little bit of a downtrend here. So that could be critically important for eBay today on how they report. Watch that one. Another uh, cons um, market favorite right now, kind of one of the market darlings out there, is NIO. NIO will be reporting today. Keep a close eye on that. That could have a major impact on here. Notice that we've been consolidating along a price resistance level in the chart. And that possibility, that if we report well, we bust out of that and start moving nicely, of course. Um, the opposite is true, is if that earnings were to disappoint, we could certainly break down in that chart. So watch that carefully. And last but not least, um, um, uh, we've got um, uh, Wendy's that will be reporting today. Not exactly your, your notable uh, type stock anymore, but you can see perking up here um, in the pre-market. So again, Click that link, that'll take you back to the blog, and that 
is where you can get the full list of notable reports for today. So how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time time I post one of these videos, I would truly, truly appreciate that. And if you feel that this video was worthy, if it helps you kind of prepare for the day, if you could please click that subscribe or that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment, even the briefest of comment, even an emoji um, helps that algorithm see that engagement with the video. And then they tend to show the video to more folks. And I would thank you so much for taking your time to do that. It means the world to me honestly thank you very very much and also thank you so much to those folks that just continue to support the channel through the buy me a coffee um, link below now obviously i don't use that for coffee and one of the things that i'm going to be doing here um, soon is i've been buying some things to uh, with that money to improve the quality of videos maybe do some more live type videos and so i just want to say thank you to everyone who does support the channel that way you guys are awesome Thank you very, very much. Let's take a look at some stock setting up. And please keep in mind, guys, that these stocks are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Um, as a matter of fact, I would say be really, really um, careful in this market with the data that's coming this morning of jumping directly into trades because we're likely to see some volatility um, early this morning. But that being said, there are stocks that are looking very, very good that we might want to take a look at. And please do your own due diligence. Make sure, make sure that you are doing the work that you need to do to manage the risk and you're following your rules, not blindly following someone else's. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start this morning because normally I'm always looking at bullish charts. I, I want to mention a couple that are looking pretty pretty ugly. So first off, let's take a look at um, PayPal. Now PayPal had this major, major breakdown here and sell off. And you can see we're holding right in here around a price support level in the chart. But I want to show you a pattern this morning that is one of my favorite shorting patterns out there. And we call it a blue ice failure. And that is uh, this 50 day moving average is blue. And I don't know why so many traders have their 50 day average blue, but they do. And so we call this a blue ice failure. And what that is, is we fall through the ice, we rally back up trying to break back through, but the hole that we fell in is all the way back here. The current has pulled us along and we fail at that 50 day. Notice that the short term moving averages start to cross down through that 50 day and we create that moving average squeeze up here of price resistance. And then we start to see that failure occur. Now the blue ice failure will typically end up resulting, it won't go there in a straight line, but typically if the market becomes bearish, um, uh, if the market stays very, very bullish, we may just set flat here on this consolidation. But if the market starts to turn bearish, charts like this will find their way down to that 200 day moving average, typically uh, moving between those averages. So watch that carefully. And I'm starting to see some patterns showing up in these pay systems. Take a look at Visa. Now Visa hasn't failed its 50 day moving average yet, but notice we did fail at a lower high in that chart starting to set this downtrend. And if we were to drop on through here, then watch for that potential blue ice fail failure to set up here in Visa. And we also have MasterCard showing some weakness and it has failed at its 50 day moving average. Notice right in there breaking down and failing could certainly reach down here toward that 200 day. So if you are looking for some short trades, you might wanna take a look um, in those areas. Let's take a look at energy. Um, energy, as you know, has been struggling here a little bit. And now this morning we have oil dropping with the White House, you know, calling on OPEC to increase production. And we'll 
keep it want to keep an eye on this because we continue to languish below our 50 day and below our shorter term moving averages and you can see we just don't seem to have the energy to move on up i suspect there is that possibility of um, xle following this downtrend here soon um, right on down toward that 200 day moving average so keep an eye on that there may be some shortable stocks um, in that etf that you might want to take a look at let's take a look at some bullishness here in the market and what we might um, see in some of these stocks let's take a look at retail oh my goodness retail has had um, tremendous moves here lately I'm gonna start with um, take a look at goose Canadian goose oh come on chart come on come on chart there we go um, had a little delay there take a look at Canadian goose here Canadian goose has been trying now this has been a pretty darn choppy chart but notice that um, we broke this downtrend and we're starting to hold some price supports in this chart now what happened this morning one of the reasons we're getting this big wild candle here this morning is we had an earnings event so if we get past that earnings event and Canadian goose can hang in here on this support you might want to keep an eye on this for that possibility that we could start chugging up a little area here and moving on up in that chart and one of the reasons I think that might be possible take a look at Burlington Burlington stores huge surge yesterday big pop to the upside it's gonna report on 826 and notice that we broke through the resistance in a huge way showing lots and lots of strength and even retail that has been in in, in substantial de declines like Kohl's just all of a sudden has really shot up showing lots of strength now this is something I wouldn't want to chase but as we approach these levels up here notice we've broken through some price resistance in the chart and wait for a little rest or pullback and then look for that next opportunity higher in that chart and we're seeing moves like that in Kohl's in Under Armour in um, TJX um, all over the place GPS uh, gap stores seeing a surge in retail um, you might want to start keeping an eye on some of those retail stocks and then if we take a look at larger retail take a look at like WMT um, Walmart I've been mentioning this this week and um, it continues to surge to the upside and it looks like it's wanting to surge even higher this morning so keep a close eye on that Walmart moving on up now I do think there good chance we're gonna run into some price resistance up here but just keep in mind that um, Walmart typically rallies it tends to rally not always toward its earnings event and you can see there's that earnings event and Wally World is um, moving to the upside so keep a close eye on that other stocks that you should should definitely be paying attention to this DKNG um, kind of interesting we've been seeing a surge in um, those on-site gambling locations the online gambling um, has struggled here just a little bit recently but notice we've begun this little uptrend we're holding some price support levels in the chart still dealing with some price resistance levels but let's watch this closely that could certainly push right on through and as you guys know I have been mentioning uh, DOCU and DOCU had a little bit of a a, a selling pullback it popped early yesterday and then pulled back but I still think this upside trend here is holding on to support pretty well and that possibility that we just may need a little bit more rest out here toward trend before we get going so keep a close eye on that there is that possibility and last but not least um, not Peloton that's not the one I was looking um, um, Chewy 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 is one that I think we might want to be paying attention to and notice that Chewy has broken through this resistance in the chart we're holding on to this trend we're getting this nice little consolidating move in here and I'll be watching this for that opportunity to move on up so keep a close eye 
on that. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for um, watching. Thank you so much for your kind support in those um, comments on the channel. I truly, truly appreciate it. Y'all take care. Have an awesome day. We'll see you right back here bright early Thursday morning. Have a good one.